Okay, we're back for day 20. Let's load on in there. I have a new development. I'll get back to you on the next episode that I'm working on. But, in between episodes, I was thinking about my, how I wanted to get a... I'm using uh, my phone as a webcam right now. See the weather. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Very displeased today, and they'll do their best to make your life difficult. That's just unfortunate. Okay, so our tomatoes are ready. We have mail. I'm getting data on the correlation between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Uh, we can do that. I don't think I currently have any melon growing, um, but I can go get melon seeds. Now to get back on my point, about uh webcams is that i was thinking about it um why is this like this i don't know but we have our corn seed um and i was like oh well you know i really want a webcam just like to have higher quality videos and like you know i'm gonna end up getting one but i thought back to the time that when I was in high school senior year and the summer before I came to college, I worked at an office max and we actually had like, you know, a lot of tech stuff too. We had webcams and stuff. There's a really nice Logitech one that was on sale that we were just trying to get rid of. And it was like $40 for like HD quality. And I was teetering back and forth like whether or not I should get it. And I never, obviously I've never ended up getting it. And it's like one of those things where like now looking back on it, I wish instead of spending my money on that time on fast food because I was literally just a teenager that wanted Chick-fil-A, I should have made an investment on something that I could actually use and would have been really useful in like a time like this because last semester, um, for all my classes, you know, a lot of them use Google Hangouts and I never had a webcam so I'd always talk, like just chat without a webcam. And I always felt disconnected because at the end, like, everyone would wave goodbye and I'd wave too. And it's like, I don't have a webcam, so this is kind of awkward. And I never really thought about, like, trying to use my phone as a webcam until now. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I really wouldn't want something like this popping up on my screen. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Like, it's not like it'd be embarrassing or anything. It'd just people be like, what is that? Um, and it'd be like, yo, this is how I'm just choosing to do it. Because, you know, some people would actually use their phones and, you know, more power to them. But I was always just more comfortable sitting at my, like, you know, little setup. I have two monitors. It's very clean. It's easy to use. I don't know. It's just very functional for me. Um, so a webcam is something that's definitely going to be in the future. I'm thinking maybe midway through June, like an early birthday present for myself. My birthday's June 25th. Um, so, you know, you gotta treat yourself every once in a while, and I should be getting my paycheck for my, um, what it'll be, it'll be, it'll be like 78 hour paycheck, um, so, because our school does monthly paychecks, even though I make a minimum wage, which honestly is the worst, but it's fine, I digress, um, it just means I get a lot of money at once, and that money, a little bit of it will be pulled out to help pay for housing for this month um, because I'm currently living on campus. Um, but the rest of it will really just be money to put away and save, and I might just go ahead and get myself a little webcam. They're not too much. I think Logitech's been really good about, like, pricing them. Um, and I'll find something. Maybe I might, might sit on it until I find a deal. I am a person that likes to buy smartly. Um, and not pay too much for something that I don't have to pay for. That doesn't mean I'm cheap, it just means I'm smart with my money. Okay, so we have crop research. So I need to bring him a melon. But I need to plant melons. Because I don't have any melons. Okay. We're gonna put this back. I missed bringing her a tomato, Pam a tomato by a day. Pam wants pale ale, I'm working on the the hops so let's go ahead and get all these crops out and we still need to go get an earth crystal which i don't believe we have chilling in here we do not have an earth crystal just chilling 
and I'm holding on to the eggs as well. Okay, we're good to go here. Everything's watered up. Let's go say hello to Bockers and Lando, our little chick in our old age. I I realize now that I asked what gender is she is, but she lays eggs, so she's obviously a hen. That's why I'm using she. Um, but she can be whatever gender she wants to be. Get one little egg here. Let's see where little Lando's off to. A silver egg. Wow. He rustling around over here. He's gonna get lost. I really do be like that. You have fun, little guy. Okay, let's close that up and let's go ahead and just make sure we're recording. That would have been scary. That would have been really scary because I wouldn't have had a way to redo it and I feel, really feel like I would have betrayed people. I would have betrayed everybody. And then like, what the heck? You didn't record and I would have been like, sorry, you just missed a day. And honestly, a lot happens in a day, so. Ugh. We did not check for worms again. Uh, but we can check later tonight. I really want to make my goal getting into the mines, getting to level 20, and getting an earth crystal. That is what we have in mind. That is the goal. We will achieve it. Um, let's check Pierre's board, make sure there's nothing on there. There is, but is it achievable? I don't want birthdays. Buying one purple mushroom at three times the market value. Please deliver directly to me. Shame. I don't know how to get those, um, and I'm not going to take the time to wiki it because I'm not streaming, I'm recording a video. So if I was streaming, that would be a little different, but I am not streaming, so I don't have time to just look something up and then go from there. I mean, I have time, I just, I wouldn't want you guys to stare at a screen while I'm looking something up. I would want to do my research beforehand. So we have worms, as I notice here. Uh, be something cool. Coal. Not exactly the coolest. And a book for the library. That's that's fucking awesome. Excuse my, my my language, but that's fucking awesome. So much knowledge in books. Books are always a fantastic thing, and I'm slowly rediscovering that because I used to be quite the bookworm when I was younger. And then I hit that high school phase where I was like, reading? I don't need to do that. And now I'm starting as I get into my young adult life. I'm just like, reading is very helpful. And it's a wonderful thing. And there's so many cool little stories that I missed out on. And that's just honestly a bummer. I need to just find my way. I want to make it to 20 because I need to get iron. So obviously I need to go down further. Oh, that little slug is gross. Oh, well, not fucking Dig Dug. I, I don't like those guys. They take way too long. Good -oos. Okay, so back on the whole reading topic is that I'm reading Harry Potter right now. And I've been informed that by my wonderful girlfriend that Percy Jackson is making a series... Like, Rick Riordan, not Percy Jackson, he's the, you know, creator of Percy Jackson. But Rick Riordan, the author of the Percy Jackson series, and also the Ranger's Apprentice, which I am more a accustomed to, are, you know, in, not in line with, but, you know, aware of, because I only read the first two books of the Percy Jackson series, and I read them in elementary school. Um, and I'm almost 20, and I think I was in fourth or fifth grade. So that was, like, quite a long time ago. That was, like, at least, like, ten years ago. And let me tell you, there's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to remember what happened. So going back through those as well. And then there's also other books that I want to read. I bought a book last year on a little Barnes & Noble run. Um, always the best kind of runs. 
whenever we're in Springfield, me and my girlfriend, like, we'll get something to eat, and then, like, on the way out, you have to pass the Barnes and Noble, and, um, uh, her, one of, like, one of, if not her favorite things in the world, besides, like, you know, Chick-fil-A, um, obviously, is books. Chick-fil-A is so good, but you can't eat it, like, every day. Like, okay, like, maybe you could, but being somebody that lived in an area where Chick-fil-A was, like, the place, like, in, in, specifically, Oviedo, Florida, where I went to high school, like, everybody went to Chick-fil-A, like, every day, and I'd only treat myself to it, because, like, you know, I just don't want the, the goodness to go away. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to, like, dig all over but little, but little Barnes and Nobles, dude, fantastic. Oh my God, really? Hermit the freaking hermit crab. Got him. You just like stand in there, and then you lose each other because you like different types of books, and then. You find each other, and then you have one book in your hand, and she has, like, four, but it turns out that she has, like, 20 gift cards, because... Oh, my gosh. It's just great. It's just great. And then you both go back with books, and you hope you can read them. Um, and for me, I just want to know... Honestly, at this point, I don't care that I'm literally missing and using all the energy that I've ever had. Uh, I just really want to find where the exit is. Um, and if I slash this with the scythe and it's right here, I'm going to be sad. Um, or if it's one of these front stones. It's like mixed seeds in the wall. It's so weird. Usually I'm like pretty good with like locating this stuff. It looks so long. I have a. That's so cool. There's something to give to Gunther. It's been a while. That's so awesome. Stone. Copper. What? Amethyst. I didn't know I could mine that yet. Okay. like no sign of an earth crystal but we're getting close to a level that i want to be at oh my god really you just had to come and be annoying huh come at me dude oh my gosh you're wasting my time oh i just want there to be an earth crystal so badly I want to find my way through, too, and it's getting late again. I felt like I came here so early. We got a geode. We got two cool things, though, for tomorrow. Because we're running out of time in our days. Ugh, that's so frustrating. There we go. We're so close. I'm determined to at least get to level 20 so I don't have to keep doing this crap. There's quartz. I don't even care about the copper at this point. I just want to get through. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of copper, and, like, you know, that's great and all. Ooh. 
No! I must! Level 20. A st oh! That's so cool. Is there anything in here? Can I fish in here? If I can fish in here and there's something cool. I just, I, I know it's so late game. I know, I know. I'm a, I, oh, I'm a night owl. That guy's so not a night owl. I just want to see, I just want to catch one fish. Come on. Come on. I just want to see what it is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What is it? What is that? A ghost fish? Holy shit, that's so cool. Okay. It's we we can go back now. I think a ghost fish is one of those like exotic fish I need to keep, so I won't sell it, but holy shit, that's cool. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll go back to the house. I get it's late. We didn't get our earth crystal, but we made traction. We have two geodes and a dwarf scroll, which that's going to Gunther. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so that's where the day's gonna end there. We got a lot of gold from farming. Um, but we have a lot to do tomorrow, so that'll be good. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching this episode.